Good evening. Trade wars are good. And with those words, the battle lines are being drawn as Donald Trump plans for a global trade war. Tonight, you're going to hear an exclusive interview with Mexico's economy minister. It's one of the U.S.'s biggest trading partners and would be seriously affected by the potential tariffs on steel. You'll also hear from the former head of the WTO, who says Mr. Trump is wrong to view trade as a zero-sum game. The president had plenty to say today, telling the world that trade wars are good. And tonight, the rest of the world has started planning its countermeasures. It started with a tweet that isn't even policy yet. This is the president's point. He said, when a country, the USA, is losing many billions of dollars on trade with virtually every country it does business with, trade wars are good and easy to win. He went on to suggest not trading with countries would get cute with the United States. In Europe, they're saying no one will win a trade war. Une guerre commerciale. A trade war between Europe and the United States will only have losers. The United States should know that if these unilateral decisions are confirmed, they will call for a strong, coordinated and united response from the European Union. All options are on the table. An appeal to the World Trade Organization or countermeasures to limit American imports in Europe. It doesn't get much more blunt than that from one side and the other. And so let me show you, let's go to the war room and let me show you the potential retaliatory weapons which even now are being planned if this trade war actually begins. Remind ourselves how it started. The United States says it is looking to put tariffs on imported steel to the US from across the globe. On the other side of this, now we're hearing from the other countries. The European Union, for example, they are considering tariffs that would go across the Atlantic eastbound on Levi jeans, Jim Bean bourbon, and even, purely symbolically, but just how significant, Harley Davidson motorcycles that would also get tariffs. But there is more when you look at how China would retaliate in this trade war. For instance, promising tariffs on US soybeans and to make it truly brutal, tech companies like Intel and Apple could also feel the full effect. You're getting an idea now of how this turns truly global and very nasty. And then you have perhaps the heart of all of this, NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement between Canada, the United States and Mexico. Now, Canada favors a more political approach. But remember, NAFTA is already in trouble in terms of its negotiations. So put all this together. NAFTA over in the Americas, all these tariffs in Europe, China, Russia, India, even Australia saying they would all join in. This is how your trade war actually gets moving. 